Okay, I'm going to do a new video in English. Just uh, waiting for the opponent to arrive. Uh -huh. Rather long wait, unusually, for the five minute pool in ICC. Game started. Oh, this is strange. Just give me a second to adjust the recording area. Okay, this should be fine. I lost 20 seconds though. Well, first game, it's not especially easy to play. It's a Grandmaster um, Besham. This is. Um, Grandmaster Groschpeta from uh, Hungary. They go play um, uh, Chigorin Rui Lopez. Yeah, this is a very old line, sometimes called the Rubinstein system. It's um, very solid for black, also a little bit passive, but. Uh, my results are not that bad with the setup, but it's always difficult against a um, strong grandmaster, of course. Yeah, black tries to arrange his um, pieces on the king side to basically soak up the pressure there and hopes that he can hold the queen side. White is a little bit quicker on the A file. Very um, tough to break down this position. Yeah, he's got the A file now. Queen A3 most probably. Still, it's not not easy to to get anything concrete here. It's a bit problematic to to make progress with white, I hope. This is at least my experience in the previous games. Yeah, maybe he tries to rearrange the knight to a3 or also play f4. This could also be an um, an idea for white. What I like to do is, but usually it's not not possible, um, to exchange the c7 bishop on b6. Well, I, t I try anyway. And now queen b8 was my idea. Maybe is it an idea for him to play queen a6 then? Hmm, maybe queen a6, hmm. bishop c8, then queen c6. Hmm. Maybe it is an idea to, to get another piece over to the queen side. Uh huh. That's interesting. Maybe he tries to switch back to, to g1 to prevent this exchange. Could be. Hmm. Queen uh, bishop b6 now. What, what is he doing after that? Does he have anything dangerous? I don't see it at the moment, so I go for that. Why well, he just wants to go to the end game, yeah. Okay. Check. This is um, sometimes a problem for black because uh, 
White may have a peace sacrifice on c4 to get two pass pawns or simply attack with um, knight to a3. I still have uh, rook b8 to cover. One problem for white is the knight on e2, which is very really a bad piece. It can't do anything active at the moment. Next step in defense is knight c7 and rook a8 to get rid of the rook. And then I just need to position properly to um, take care about the possible peace sacrifices. Yeah. Okay, of course I could take here, but this would also give up d4. I'd just like to like to keep the position closed here. And under under circumstances would be an idea to take, of course, because I also get e5, but this would activate the, the knight. Okay, it's interesting. Hmm. I still could take with a knight, but I don't want to give even this this square, so I take with the pawn. Now rook a8, and I exchange the rook here. Okay. Check. Okay, this knight is um, on b6 to cover c4 as well. Next step would be to, to bring my knight to f6. Is there a good route? Knight h6 perhaps. Yeah, of course. He would like to exchange exchange, but I just I just go to f6. I have c4 also double covered, so he won't be easily able to um, to sacrifice. Still, it's not possible to to do anything active with black. <clears throat> you just have to stay. Draw offered. I don't offer draw. Game draw. Yeah, yeah. It's um, it's simply that um, white cannot do anything, and um, well, maybe I could have tried a little bit here, but it's um, it's still not not easy to see how you um, will make progress. Only idea would be maybe h6 and g5, or gen in general go for g5. It's the only pawn break left in the position. But still it's hard to see that um, this should lead to anything really great. Most likely it's just a draw because of the blocked nature, nature of the position. But uh, considering my bad form earlier today, I'm pretty glad to have started with the draw against the Grandmaster. So. That's okay.